So I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, man. I had a good time at the wedding, man. I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm glad I came. I'm enjoying myself. Then I get the reception. Because when she found out that I was sitting, I'm like, I'm having a really good time at this wedding. And then my night turned left, and it was my own fault. This, this is where I messed up, right? I see two of my buddies talking in the corner, and I walked into a conversation I had no business walking into, right? This is what they were talking about. My one buddy has his own private jet. He flew down to Miami on his own private jet to go to the wedding. My other buddy leased a private jet. He was thinking about buying one. So the conversation was the pros and cons of owning your own private jet. And here I come, walking into conversation. I was like, what's up, fellas? They go, oh, what's up, Gary? Hey, Gary, how, how'd you get down here? I was like, uh, Delta? Delta? <laughs> How'd you guys get down here? Well, I flew my jet down. And you know, he's thinking about buying one, so I was telling a good and bad thing about having a private jet because he at least wanted to come down here. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had an extra row, so that was cool. I had an extra row, a little extra leg room, and they were selling turkey and cheese sandwiches on my plane, so I bought one. I wasn't gonna get one, but I was like, it's a wedding. Fuck it, I'm gonna ball out a little bit. So yeah, I bought a turkey and cheese sandwich on the way down. I actually bought two of them because I gotta fly back tomorrow, so I just played it safe. I got one in my bag right now, so. <laughs> a daughter and she bring a man home somebody please welcome chase bernstein yeah it's spicy mustard i thought it was regular mustard and i put it on my sandwich i took a bite i was like damn this motherfucker got a little bite to it so yeah i thought it was regular mustard but they got spicy mustard now on their plane they got spicy mustard you know you got you you, you guys got spicy mustard on your jets you guys got spicy mustard We well, can't have everything, can we, fellas? <laughs> and then about an hour later, literally the most surreal moment of my life happened an hour later, right? I go to the men's room to take a piss, and guys, I know men's room etiquette. I know when you, when you use the restroom, you're at the stall, you look at the stall. Don't look right, don't look left, don't start a conversation with nobody. Handy and finish, you know, shake it off, wash your hands and leave. I stress, wash your hands, okay? I'm in airports every week. If I see another dude take a piss and not wash his hands, I'm gonna call somebody out next time. I'd be amazed in airport restrooms. I'd be sitting there like, I know this motherfucker that I can be, I'm setting the best dike. I swear to God, next time I see that shit, I'm gonna call some out. I'm gonna fall into their gate. Don't touch the ticket, ma'am. He got dirty dick on his ticket. Don't tell you know you ain't wash your hands. Don't touch the ticket, ma'am. He got dirty dick on his ticket. He ain't wash his hands. So I'm at the stall and I'm facing. All of a sudden, to my left, I see a tall black figure stand next to me. I glance up, LeBron, the king, pissing right next to me. So I took a glance. I ain't gonna lie, I took a little peek, motherfucker. Fuck you, it's LeBron, shit. I mean, I wasn't obvious with it. I was discreet about it. I just sat there, oh, shit. I saw my doorbell. I saw LeBron's dick, I did, I did, I saw it. I didn't see the whole thing, I just saw the tip, I saw the helmet, I saw the helmet, I did, he was holding it, but I, that's confirmed, I saw the helmet, I saw Darth Vader, little Darth Vader. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be awkward next time I see the brawn, he finds out I'm talking about that shit. <laughs> Damn, do you looked at my dick? Shut the fuck up. Don't be like that, B, seriously. So you telling me at Barack is standing next to you, you're not gonna look at Barack's dick? Shut the fuck up, LeBron, seriously. That's the only two people I'm gonna look at is LeBron and Barack. If Barack stand next to me, I ain't gonna be discreet about that shit. Oh shit, son! I voted for you, sir.